Sebastian. Hi. Uh, so we are here for the grand finale of our Disney animated project pan. Uh, this was a fantastic ladies collab. I thoroughly enjoyed joining in with this one. Um, it's been so much fun and I know everybody else in this collaboration really enjoyed this project as well. Um, so yeah, we are at the finale. So I'm going to talk through some of the empties that I had previously to this update and then I will show you the couple of empties I have that are new for this update and yeah, let's finish this thing. <laughs> so let's put Sebastian down. It's always a sad moment that, isn't it? Okay, so this was a project pan by the Fantastic Ladies, as I say, and it was based around Disney animated films. So we were allowed to choose, I think there was a set amount, uh, but I went nuts and chose 16 different films. Uh, I love Disney. I could have chosen more. I could have done the whole of my collection, um, but I stopped at 16. <laughs> so let's get started with the first one I picked, which was The Incredibles. And for that, I had the Rimmel Black Eyeliner. That was this one. Uh, this was used up in the update two. Uh, so yeah, it was just a plain black eyeliner. Really liked it. I probably would repurchase because Rimmel eyeliners and Rimmel lip liners, um, their pencils are just really good quality. So I probably would repurchase again, but that was a empty. The second film I had was Wreck-It Ralph. So for Wreck-It Ralph, I had my Barry M Speedy Quick Dry Nail Varnish in Personal Best. And that is this one. And I am now down to here. So um, I used up, I used up quite a bit because this was brand new at start. And I'm now down to this second line here. Um, basically my goal for this was to use it at least once a month. Um, slightly fell short of that. I used it out of the five times that I should have used it. I used it four. So I must have missed it one month. I don't know how. Um, but I'm pretty chuffed with myself that I got four uses out of it. Um, it is a really, really nice colour. It's a plain, um, like, lilac cream. There's no shimmer in this. There's no Van Dangled stuff. It's just the plain colour. Um, so I did get bored of, of it after like the second or third time. So then I just added a topper, which is great because that's what they're for. So really did enjoy that, but slightly fell short of the goal of using it five times. Um, but I did use it four, so 90% there. The third film I picked was Frozen. And for that, I had my Polar Ice Pure uh, Arctic Cotton Gentle Scrub. I absolutely loved this product. It came out of Birchbox, and I must admit, this is one of the products from Birchbox I loved the most. It was a really nice exfoliating scrub, but it was soft and gentle, and it left my skin feeling moisturised. Sometimes with exfoliating scrubs, they can leave my skin feeling a little tight and a little dry. This didn't do that. It was absolutely perfect. Left my skin feeling clean and refreshed, but also moisturised at the same time. It was really, really nice. I was up there at the beginning and then I was there for the uh, first update and I believe I finished this in my second update, just checking my notes. But yeah, I finished this in my second update. The next film I had was Brother Bear. For that product, I had my Chocolate and Peaches uh, palette from I Heart Makeup, now known as I Heart Revolution. And the colour I was using was this one. It was called Keen for Keen Eye is one of the brothers and the goal was to hit pan and as you can see I have 
a beautiful little bit of itchy nose, itchy nose. Um, beautiful little bit of pan there. So yeah, that goal was hit also on the second update. I think my second update was my best one for empties. The next uh, film I chose was Alice in Wonderland. It's one of those films I've seen once, but I've never really like bothered to re-watch it again. It was a good film, but it wasn't one of my favourites. Um, but for that, I chose my Chocolate Love Palette by I Heart Makeup. I do love my chocolate palettes. And for that, I wanted to hit pan in the shade Heart, you know, for the Queen of Hearts. And I don't know if you can see that, but right there's a beautiful little bit of pan. This was a gorgeous pink shimmery eye shade. Absolutely loved it. Beautiful, gorgeous. Love this palette. I do. I love my chocolate palettes. For Aladdin, I had the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in uh, Sedona Sands. That is this one. Uh, these are beautiful lip crayons, very, very, um, very soft, so you can quite quickly use these up, um, but I had so many lip products in my, um, in other projects that I didn't give this the love that it deserved, so in my book you can see, um, I was up here at the beginning and now I'm down to this bottom green line here. Uh, those are all my markings for the month. So I did get a good centimeter and a half use out of it for this project pan. So that's, I'm really happy with that, really, really happy with that. The next item I had was for Beauty and the Beast and for that was my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Creme de Rose. I can't remember what my goal was for this. I think it was to hit pan, which I did. Um, and as you can see, I've got a lot of pan now. I carried on using it after I finished the, it in the project. Um, so there's not much left there at all now. Um, this is a really great base uh, for my eyeshadows. I just put this on um, as a all over my eyelids and then set it with powder and it makes a great base for my eyeshadows. Um, really, really do like this and may consider repurchasing this in the future when this is all used up um, because I really do enjoy it. So that was that one. The next film I had was Tangled and for that I had three sachets of botanicals um, like hair care um, uh, sachets. I did have three. Uh, two were a shampoo which I used and this one is a softening ointment. They're the safflower, safflower rich infusion um, ones. Now, I didn't get to use this because I was too busy, like, using another hair care product. Um, so, I didn't get to use this. You can apply this into wet hair before running a comb through to leave your hair feeling nourished. Or onto dry hair as a finishing touch to smooth and tame flyaways. Um, which I could do with, I suppose, but... <coughs> Sorry. Um, but I just, I don't like putting products in my hair, um, because I get, I hate that crusty sort of heavy feeling in my hair. Um, so I would probably prefer to use this in my wet hair before like combing and, and drying. Um, so I didn't get to use this. I wasn't just going to use it up for the sake of using it up. I wanted to use it when it was more appropriate to use it. So I didn't quite use all of that, but I did use the other two sachets. So again, didn't quite reach goal, but was almost there. So that was that. The next product was my Mulan product and it was my Colourpop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Snapdragon. This is a gorgeous, beautiful green 
and the goal was of course to hit pan which I did I absolutely love this shade at first I wasn't quite sure how to play with it because it was so vibrant and I wouldn't normally put such a vibrant color like into my crease or anything and I like a shimmery shade on my eyelid not a matte but eventually I played with it and and discovered a, a really nice eye look which I believe um, I did quite often because I hit pan so that was that product the next product I had was for Ratatouille and it was my Clarins Hydra Essential uh, Moisturizer Quenching Cream uh, it was just a little sample it's here in this little box So that is it. It was just a little 5ml um, or 0.1 ounce uh, sample. I really do like Clarins skincare. It's really nice for my skin. My skin thoroughly enjoys it. Um, I just wish it wasn't so damn expensive. But I keep getting these little samples of places like Feel Unique um, sample service or sometimes Latest in Beauty do them. So yeah, I keep getting plenty of little samples that keep me going um, so I don't have to buy the big one, which is a lot of money. So yeah, that was that Ratatouille product. The next product was for the 101 Dalmatians and that was my Clarins Vital Light Serum for dark spot correcting. Again, it's only a 5ml sample and I used all of this up as well. This was actually a lot harder to use up than the moisturiser, I guess because I used this like just under my eyes, whereas the other one I used all over my face. Um, so this one took a little bit longer to use up, but I really, really did enjoy this and I did notice a slight difference, not a lot, but a slight difference under my eyes, you know, where my bags are, you know, because I don't sleep very well. Uh, for the next product, it is my first empty um, for this um, finale and it was my Moana product. So this is the Maui Moisture Strength and Anti-Breakage Agave Hair Mask. So it is just a big tub like this and it is gone. There's dregs in there, but that's not going to go anywhere near my hair. Um, that's not going to do anything for me. So um, I am calling this empty. Um, it smells of coconut. It smells, it smells gorgeous. And I loved using this in my hair. I think personally for me, this is probably the wrong product for my hair. Because I think this is supposed to be for... Yeah, it says for chemically damaged hair. So if you have blonde bleached hair, this is probably a really good hair mask for you. Um, but I've never bleached blonde, blonde bleached. I've never bleached blonde my hair, blonde. I've never dyed my hair blonde. I've never bleached it blonde. Um, so my hair's not chemically damaged, it's just dry and brittle and breaks easily, uh, which is why I got it, because it was strength and anti-breakage. That's why I picked it up. Um, I did find that um, my hair is nice and soft when I wear this, um, or use this in the shower and then rinse it off. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would repurchase this one. He for no, it smells delicious. It's just... Mmm, I could smell that smell all day. Coconuts, I love coconuts. So yeah, that was the empty for the finale. The next item was my Pinocchio item and it was this horrible, horrible wish firming body cream in rice milk. Uh, I didn't like this. I didn't like this at all. I didn't think it did anything. It definitely didn't firm anything. Um, it was just a basic moisturizer it 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 was it was pointless uh, i have nicer moisturizers than this i didn't like this product at all 
I'm just glad it's out of my collection. So that was my Pinocchio item. Um, oh, I seem to have missed my Fox and the Hound product. So my Fox and the Hound product was this MUA single eyeshadow in copper. The uh, goal was to hit pan and as you can see there I have. I love this eyeshadow. It is so creamy and so beautiful. It's almost the same consistency as Super Shock eyeshadow from Colourpop. Um, it, the colour pigmentation on this is just, I mean, this is a one pound eyeshadow people. One pound. Like, look at that pigmentation. That's gorgeous. And... You know, I just, I love this, especially for the autumn. I might dig this out, actually, and play with it for a bit. Um, but yeah, beautiful copper eyeshadow. I thoroughly enjoyed using this, and yeah, I hit pan on that one. Um, also, my Sleeping Beauty product. This was my Lacquer & Co. Cloud Lips in the shade Daydream. Uh... I had that much left. Um, I didn't get much use out of this um, as my Sedona Sands because this is much more of a harder formula. So it, it it's much harder to use it up. I did get some use out of it. Um, so... I started up here and I've moved down just a little bit just minimal very minimal um, but you know what I discovered was I really like the shade of this it's beautiful um, it's really beautiful like it's my shade it's it's the shade I love I'm not wearing it today um, but I do really really like this so I was quite happy that I didn't use this up because now I get to play with it for a long time to come so yeah that was that product and the final product because I had to throw one in there for the little mermaid it was my Avon um, satin matte nail varnish in mystical mermaid so this is a satin matte finish and I am down to here again my goal was to use this at least once every month in this uh, project pan and again I kind of felt there must have been one month where I, I forgot to wear me my nail polishes um, because I used this four out of the five times um, but this one I as you can see I'm right down here right down here um, this nail polish just it it gets used up so quickly um it must be a really really thin formula or something because it's just dropping so quickly every time i use it so i reckon that if i really pushed it at using this i could probably get this out of my collection pretty quickly so um but i really enjoy the color it's a beautiful satin matte um finish so it's got a matte finish but it, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it it's really strange really weird beautiful um beautiful blue my husband really loves this color on my nails his favorite color is blue so yeah that is that so that was all of my products for this project pan i have 11 out of 16 empties so i reckon i did pretty good i worked that out to be about 70 percent of the products i put in this product i have hit goal or used up completely so i'm pretty chuffed with that so if you enjoyed this project pan i will leave the playlist for the whole project for you down below so you can binge watch it if you want um, as well as some other links to other playlists and uh, things that you might enjoy watching as well as all the fantastic ladies and everybody who joined in with this project as well so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe and sebastian and i will say see you soon bye